another Amiga 600. I want to install this ECS scan doctor on it, but the problem is, I don't know where to take this cable out. On the Amiga 500, I can actually take it out the trap door, but as you can see, the hole over here is just too small. On the back side, it's not possible. I have seen somebody take off the serial or parallel port, just remove that and took the cable out. Uh, I won't do that, but I think I will remove the RF shield. I just want to make sure that when I install this, that the cable is long enough and it's just about it. So I'm going to install this one. So to do that, I have to install this one megabyte of cheap RAM expansion, the A604N, and then install this scan doctor on top of it and remove this one. So let's get going, guys. That was really a fight to pull that one off. Here we have the RF connector. Now, these three small solder joints down at the bottom, they were actually pretty easy to, to pull out, but we got these three big ones, the mounting ones up here and on the sides. Oh man, that really needed a lot, a lot of fresh solder on them and my usually handheld um, solder, I don't know what's it called, solder pin was not enough so I had to use another one, gave it 380 degrees so yeah. <laughs> but now it's off, I mean we, we, don't, we don't use this anymore, I use RF, uh, I, I use RGB uh, to start on my Amigas. Now this motherboard, the sound was missing, it had fishy smell, so all the caps were uh, dead. As you can see over here, the green stuff, it was just all over the place. So this one has been recapped, as you can see, uh, recapped, and this little device down there has been replaced. It was just eaten away, <laughs> all green, and this little one over here also replaced. Now it has got perfect sound, perfect picture, all new caps, so it's just beautiful. I just want to clean this little mess up over here. I'm sorry about the jump in the music in the background. That's because I'm just listening to music uh, in the background on my Amiga 500 Plus. Not the best way to film, I know guys, but I really enjoy it that way. So yeah, there will be some suddenly jumps in the music in the background. I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay. So, Amiga is installed here and as you can see we have a little opening here. That's nice. Now it's time to install this one. This little one megabyte chip RAM upgrade as you all know, on my channel, if you're a subscriber, I don't want to use no Amiga if it doesn't have two megs of chip RAM. So this is a must for the Amiga 600. So it's pretty easy to install. As you can see, the connector up top. This is from individual computers again, icon.de. Um, yeah, and it goes in here on the connector of the Amiga here. And as you can see, it's got one megabyte of chip RAM up top. And this is for RTC module, so if you want to have clock. And this is actually for this one, so you can actually put it in here. And it should actually have a little piece of metal here, so you can mount it directly on the screw on the disk drive here so it gets more stable but I don't know why that mounting part is missing here guys so yeah it is what it is 
nothing to do. This one is from 2013, so yeah. This one, easy to mount. Usually you have to open the trap door at the, down at the bottom. But uh, let's just slide this one in here. There we go. And as you can see, it has got this connector. <laughs> now it says, this socket for Indivision ECS only. Do not install any chip here. Okay, that's nice. So, we have got this one here. And this one will be mounted on top of this. Um, the only thing is when I use these on my Mega 500, 500 plus, 2000s, I pull off the Denise chip, I see, and uh, mount this one and put the Denise on here. Um, I actually don't know what to do on this one because Denise chip is uh, mounted on the motherboard. So I don't know if I should find another from an another Amiga 500 and put it on or just put this one in and the circuitry will, you know, find the Denise chip and give signal out. So yeah, let's find out about it, guys. <laughs> we're, we're learning every day. Remember that I'm not the kind of guy that reads everything on online. I just try and find out about it. So let's go ahead and mount this one. Okay, it's mounted. It has got this little razor, so it gets a little bit of height. So you install that one first, and then the ECS scan doctor second. And it sits really, really tight on top of that RAM module. And it's got these round sockets. Um, so yeah, and let's look at the other side around here. As you can see, it doesn't hit anything. It has got, you know, four or five millimeter of space so that's okay guys I'm I'm, uh, I'm happy with it the cable is long enough of course I will do it installed the proper way but it, it is long enough for an Amiga 600 so that's great again it's just so much easier on the Amiga 500 plus the socket is up here to the knees so you just take that and pull it out this way and you, if you have an ACA 500 plus in a box, then you can actually take this cable out here and, it, and you can connect it at the front. So yeah, beautiful product. If you want to install, you know, any standard LCD screen today, and these work great. So let's go ahead and um, give this one some power and see what's going to happen. Power is connected, VGA cable is connected, so let's give this one some power and see what's going to happen. Yes, I got a message from individual computers. Good hardware for good computers. Now, one thing, as you can see the Amiga 600 hasn't got any hard disk connected, no disk drive connected, which means it will take some time before it boots up. That's why we had the black screen on for that long. But as you can see, beautiful picture. It, it looks crystal clear. It's, it's just amazing. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, I love this. Now usually I don't use um, I don't use the Mega 600, but this one is actually gonna be at the corner of my living room, and it's gonna it's gonna stand on two big speakers that has got a um, amplifier on top, and I'm gonna have something on top of the amplifier so it can cool down and all that, and on top of that we're gonna have this Mega 600 and this monitor. <laughs> So this is gonna be my mod music box at the corner of, I got a big living room, so this small Amiga 600 recapped, it's gonna be great. I don't need a disk drive, of course, I just need a compact flash card. 
filled up with mod music it, it's, it's just great yes i can use a new pc and all that but this is a retro channel guys this is retro django here so we have to do it the proper way yeah let's put on some more stuff i've connected both monitors so we can compare the picture qu picture quality but i have to update this and uh, upgrade this Amiga 600 a bit because with the built-in 68,000 CPU and you know 7 megahertz and 2 megs of chip RAM it's just yeah it didn't uh, work that well so what I did I um, I installed the ACA 620 accelerator card that's the red one over there. <laughs> I installed a 16 gig compact flash card. So this accelerator card runs with the 020 CPU and it runs 16 megahertz. It has got four megs of fast RAM, one megabyte of slow RAM and map ROM. <laughs> and this one has got two megabytes of cheap RAM. So now it's an okay computer, but it didn't run that well. It actually froze two seconds after boot up. Um, I double checked everything, didn't know what to do. I replaced the compact flash adapter, another compact flash. It froze again and I was like, what am I doing wrong? Third adapter, fourth adapter, uh, third compact flash card everything froze I was like what's wrong <laughs> so I took out the built-in kickstart run 2.05 and I installed 3.1 and since I did that it runs perfect no crash no nothing it just yeah it boots now let's compare the picture quality this little one runs with the ECS, individual ECS, from the VGA, and this one is, you know, from the Amiga 600's native uh, video output. And let me see on the camera here. You can also see it, guys. <laughs> major, major difference in the picture quality. The one to the right, the small one, ASA monitor, this one looks amazing compared to the original picture to the left. Don't know this game. Let's check it out. Uh, the sound is coming out, out from the um, this one over here. Oh, it's a shooter, man. Nice. Out of fire. Oh, this is a ripoff from Project X, that's for sure. Oh, great. More power. Oh. oh, nice, it has got energy instead of just one hit and destruction. Yeah, well, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Huge difference in the picture quality. If you look at what it says, stealth and weapon and lives, it's almost unreadable on the other one. This is just crystal, crystal clear. The only trouble I have with this um, individual ACS is actually it doesn't center the picture the right way. So I have to auto config a couple of times or adjust manually the screen. Uh, that's the only issue I have with it, but, but the picture quality is, it's just amazing. What a difference, guys. I mean, we, we want the best, right? <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was, it was, this, this was a short, nice video, pulling out this little RF modulator and installing this uh, individual ECS. I'm happy with the result. 
Again, this is just gonna play some uh, in, some uh, mod files, <laughs> but still, I wanted to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna install that that little actuator board. It's nice. It uh, makes everything much more smooth. So great little Amiga. I don't usually don't use the Amiga 600, but this small size is just it's beautiful. So thank you for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye.